you not care? You gotta be happy. Rose belongs at me. fun project for today. Tommy thinks it's silly. Well, I don't know if he thinks it's silly. He's just, he's been laughing whenever I talk about it and whenever I show him. So when I was little, I loved catching bugs. And this right here, I love this jar. Um, I would ask my mama for bug catching jars and she would go and get her ice pick and she would put holes in jar lids. For bugs and I was going through one of her cabinets one day and she still had one of my jars and it actually I don't know if you yeah right there it actually still has the caterpillar in it I mean, obviously it's dead and dried up but it still has the caterpillar the caterpillar so this is a keepsake of mine my project for today uh, I'm not quite sure if I want to ow, I want to ow. I want to do anything to this jar. I'm gonna have to think about it. The lid is rusting So I need to figure out maybe put a clear coat on it or just spray paint it all together to keep it from rusting with some rust-oleum I, I just I really like that. It's a Duke's uh, Lid she gave me a nice jar too. This is a big jar today's project is with some other jars of critters that I collected now these jars I put them in rubbing alcohol to preserve them and the lids are rusting so I have new lids and I'm going to paint them so that they look pretty and I'm going to be replacing the alcohol that's in these because they're it's kind of discolored with some fresh with some fresh alcohol so you can see this one's got some I don't know if you can see once 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 it's cleared up I should be able to show it better you can see the lights showing there's some this one's got all sorts of stuff in it and then this jar right here let's see it has a frog but it has a copperhead in it that i caught when i was little and it had just eaten a frog so its belly is is full but my favorite jar is this one. It's a baby hammerhead shark. So when I was little, we were at the beach. My brother and I were walking down the beach and a hammerhead shark, like a full-size hammerhead shark had washed up on the shore. We go to an island. It's my favorite place to go. And there's, there's, it's, it's an eroding island. So it's always changing and they don't maintain it like they do tourist beaches. So there's lots of wildlife there. So a, there was a dead hammerhead shark on the beach. It was in like a little puddle of water. And from it was a little floating babies. She, she must have died on the shore that morning and gave birth so there were uh, dead babies floating around in the water so I, <laughs> I got one and I immediately went back because we would camp so I went back to the camper and I got my dad's rubbing alcohol from his uh, first aid kit and I put my little hammerhead shark in there and so yeah I'm gonna freshen up the rubbing alcohol in it so it's clearer my, my nephew loves this one. He asked me just the other day if I'd bring it back up there so that he could see it again. So I'm gonna freshen it up and I'm going to put some new lids on these. I'm gonna spray paint them. I'm thinking I'm gonna try to make them look copper-ish. So I have some paint here. I'm gonna do like a dark under color with a copper over and then I'm going to use some of my other paints to make it look like it's aged copper. 
and I think that'll be really pretty because um Tommy's gonna let me display them <laughs> I say let he doesn't have a problem with it um but um I have known other people in my life that were like you need to throw those things away mm -mm. these are my prized possessions <laughs> so I'm gonna freshen these up and yeah I'm excited Out here. Look at this. He's got all kinds of stuff out here. The cat's over there trying to figure out what that smell is. Look at how much clearer it is now. Yay! Looks it looks way better. Oh, spray paint. Because I'm spray painting. Yeah, it's a lot clearer now. Nice. I tried to get it out, but it's too stiff. I didn't want to break it. Hey, buddy. We got flower pots on the ground over there we need to do something with. I think the wind may have blown them around a little. Okay. Now that I got the shark's liquid updated, I'm going to update, I guess, maybe the snake. Update this one. I'm using 91% alcohol because I wanted less water in it. I don't know what I'm doing. I actually <laughs> didn't look up any kind of a tutorial or anything. I'm just doing like I normally do, <laughs> making it up as I go. So. So the shark, I would say, how old was I when I, I had to have been, let's, let's say being generous, um, I got the shark, I probably got the shark <laughs> before 2000. But let's just say I got it in 2000. So this shark is 23 years old. And I know for sure I got this one before 2000 because I was real little. So this, this right here has to be over 27 years old. It has to be. Now do this jar right here. Well, let me see if I can show it better when the liquid is clear. There's lots of spiders in this one. <laughs> Theodore's having some fun over there. There, now you can kind of see it better. There's some spiders, some different kind of beetles, a big old spiky, wooly um, caterpillar. Yeah, this one's just all sorts of stuff. Now this, this one right here, probably like the other one, over 26 years old or something. So, these are some old bugs. Oh, there's like a little, it's a, is it a mole cricket? I have to look it up. A little mole cricket. Yep. So I'm gonna let these lids dry on this coat and then I'm going to do the copper coat and then I'm gonna make them look all fancy and I'm gonna swap the lids on the jars and then I'm gonna display my creation. <laughs> so you don't care? I'm not that. I'm not, I don't know what, I don't know why that's so interesting. You don't know why it's so interesting? Oh, right now I gotta I wanna get all this done. Do you not care? You gotta be happy. 
Get back to spray painting. Got a little bit on my finger. Okay, I'm going to let these dry for quite a while and then I will do some more painting on them. Okay, so Theodore is asleep right now and I'm waiting for him to wake up so that we can go to a family dinner. So I'm gonna see about getting these situated. And I'm going to use oil paint for this because the spray paint is an oil base so I want to see if I can get this to be a kind of an oxidated copper look that came, <laughs> that came out a lot in that lid right there so let's see what kind of color we can make it's actually kind of dark in here. I should turn the light on. That blue is just so chunky. I don't like that it's so chunky. Looks a little smoother. I don't know, let's see. I was thinking about just using my finger. I'm going to be going to the family dinner with paint all over my hands. That was too much. Well, it looks pretty coppery. Coppery to me. Like it's older copper that's oxidated. Nice. These are going to look good on top of those jars. So let's see if I can get this oil paint off my hands because I actually used the last of my mineral spirits the other day. So I might just be going to supper with green fingers. <laughs> so here we are at our family dinner. I got a few clips here and there, mostly of this little cutie, <laughs> that little tongue. Here's my mom thinking I'm taking a picture. And then, yep, he's clapping. And <laughs> she's like, are you filming? I hope you filmed that. He clapped so much. It's his new thing. Here he is with his dad, dad. He loves his daddy so much. <laughs> I do too. I love you, Tommy. And here's the finished product. I am really happy with the way that they turned out. Uh, they look like copper super fresh 
the liquid looks so much oh my goodness <laughs> I forgot to turn the frog over <laughs> very sad looking frog hanging out on his back uh, when I did this when I was real little I wanted to show people what was inside the snake's belly so I caught me a frog and put it in there so yeah that's why it's in there but yeah the liquid being clear like this just looks so much better you can see the little shark's mouth right there uh, so yeah <laughs> I really hope y'all have enjoyed <laughs> this little craft <laughs> um, I look forward to doing more crafts in the future <laughs> hopefully more uh, interesting than this I guess <laughs> and I, I really hope and pray that y'all have a blessed day and yeah this has been April Dawn with love It's my onyx. You're so cute. You look happy. Yes.